What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I was sick, then I wasn't sick, then I was sick again, but even worse, and then I wasn't sick again, and then I lost my voice for a week. So that's where I've been. Uh, today, we're just going to be going over this right here. Uh, this is going to be another Trail Tacoma Calories video for you guys. This one uh, kind of hits home because it keeps me up at night. So in my area, there's been a lot of catalytic converter thieves, thefts, especially on foreigners for some reason. So foreigners, Tacomas, they're getting hit all the time in my area. So what Calorie Rays came up with is some cat covers. Really nice. They're really, really nice. These are made out of 12 gauge 304 brush steel. Super thick. Uh, they'll definitely deter someone from trying to steal your stuff. So it's going to come with all your hardware, the four security bolts, the key to those bolts, four washers, and two little rubber stoppers. So these are fully bolt-on, um, shouldn't take you too long. Um, there's only about four, eight bolts that you're going to need to remove. And uh, yeah, it should be fairly easy. Let's just get into it. This is all the hardware you're going to need. You're just going to need to ratchet a 12 and a 14 socket as well as a 14 wrench and a 12 wrench. So first things first, just going to take one of our shields or covers, flip it up like so, and you want it to be like that. So this little kink goes upwards, you want the little kink going upwards. <clears throat> Take one of your rubber stoppers and you're going to put it into this hole right here. You're going to make sure this thicker side is on this side. So the slope is going upwards. You want the thicker side on the top. All you're going to do is you're going to try and feed this through until it gets through to the other side. Maybe spit on it. Get some lube going. That might be the move, but really you're just supposed to push this in. So it's nice and flat, looks like so. This thicker, bigger portion is on the top, so it's going to be installed this way. The smaller portion is on the bottom. Just push it through until that nub goes through, and you should be set. Now you just got to do that with the other one. So that's the other side, all pushed in. Nice. Let's go ahead and just take these under the rig. I'm not even going to jack up the rig, I'm just going to crawl under. So, you guys literally just saw how easy it really was to get up and under the rig, especially now that it's lifted. So, we're going to start on the driver's side. The first thing you're going to do is remove this cross member right here. It's just two bolts here and two bolts here. Take this off really quick and then after that we're gonna go through and take off these nuts on the back here. These two nuts. So from here, you're going to want to remove these two nuts, one right here, one right here. Don't remove the bolt. Your transmission is literally sitting on this and you're going to mess something up. So just take the nuts out. That's all you got to do. So from here, it's going to be super easy. Maybe we can get a better look for you guys over here. All you're gonna do is take your cat cover. And slide it in. It should just go right over. So just go over the two bolts like so. And then you're just gonna replace those bolts back in. Should look like so. When you have it in the two, that adjustable little things right there. You just want to hand tighten these down for now. 
And then that's how this is all going to look like. Um, we're going to go ahead and put the factory crossbar, the little cross member, back in. Now, so when we're putting this back in, I'm just going to go back into the same spots. These back ones over here are going to have the factory ones. The factory bolts are going to go back in here. I'm just going to loosely put these in. These are going to be the bolts that Cali Race provides you. So for these ones, it's just going to be bolt, throw in a washer, line up the holes, throw them in. Bolt, washer, throw it in. So from here, you're just going to tighten everything down, tighten down these first and then tighten the, down these bolts back here. And that's pretty much it. You're pretty pretty golden from there. So just get to tightening everything down. So for the key, I'm just using a 1 fourth socket. I don't know if you guys see that. I couldn't find my uh, driver for this, so. Oh well, it all works the same, right? Nice. So now we're just going to go ahead and tighten these down. Tighten them all down. So when it's all said and done, that's what it's going to look like right there. Cross member on. All that stuff is tightened in. This right here is the security ones. So you're not going to be able to take this cross member off to get to the cat anymore. And yeah. Looks real good under the car. So if we go under, you can see got both the cat covers on now. You just rinse repeat for the other side. Pretty easy install. Only took me about uh, enough time for it to rain. <laughs> and I didn't even know it was raining while I was under there. So fairly easy install. Only took about 40 minutes and that's because I'm recording and I'm taking pictures at the same time. So really should have only taken about 20 minutes. If you have it on a lift, that is 100% like a 10 minute job. But since I had the crawl under, it was a little bit tight under there. So yeah, now I can sleep a little bit easier tonight knowing that I have some kind of deterrent under there. Um, you saw how easy it was to get under the rig. Yeah, lift your rig, it makes it a lot easier for people to get under it. So this is just gonna be another deterrent. It's not a, it's not a permanent solve to someone stealing your cats. There's always going to be that chance that someone is determined enough to chop everything off just to get to those cats. But at least this will make them think twice. It'll be a lot harder for them to get under there and just swipe your cats. Now they have to cut through that big hunk of metal to get to your cat. And yeah, just help yourself sleep a little bit easier at night knowing that you're not going to have to spend 800 a thousand I don't know how much it costs to replace a cat now but yeah just wanted to help you guys out hopefully if you guys are interested in this I'll leave it down in the description um, there's probably going to be a write-up on trail to come on this so if you guys are more of uh, readers then I'll link that as well down there as always if you found the video helpful make sure to give it a like if you guys have any comments questions or concern leave them down in the comment section and if you haven't already if you want to see more of this stuff, more of the rig, hit that subscription button. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.